Assalamualaikum and very good morning. Okay, let we just move to the lecture 6 about the foreign exchange market. Okay, what is the foreign exchange market? Okay, it's a place where the action rates are determined. And action rate is the price of one currency in terms of another. Okay, most of the country of the world have their own uh, currencies. For example, USD, Malaysia Ringgit, Baht, uh, Rial, Pound, Dirham, and etc. Okay, trade between countries involve the mutual exchange of different currency. Usually, bank deposit denominated in different currency. For example, American firms buy goods or services, which is bank deposit denominated in USD. Exchange for foreign currency, uh, bank deposit denominated in foreign currency, for example, Malaysia. So, in this case, we assume that US is the home country and Malaysia is a foreign country. Trading of currency and bank deposit denominated in particular currency take place in the foreign exchange market, which is determine the rates at which currency are exchanged, or in turn, determine the cost of purchasing foreign goods and financial asset. Okay, what are foreign exchange rates? There are two kinds of exchange rates. Um, Transactions. The first one is a spot transactions. The spot transaction is the amounts of currency we trade for another by today. In other words, is the price a person would have uh, a person would have to pay in one currency to buy another currency by today. We also can think of it as a today's rate that one currency can be traded with another or in short we can say that we can say that spot transaction is the immediate transactions between uh, currency between two countries by today okay it's happened immediately it will use the spot exchange rate okay the second one is forward transactions meaning that the forwards uh, are also referred as a forward rates or forward price is the exchange rate at which a bank agrees to exchange one currency for another at a future date when it enters into a forward contract with an investor or in short we call it the, uh, we can uh, define it the exchange of bank deposit at some specified uh, future dates so we can use the forward exchange rate okay Appreciation and depreciations. What is mean by appreciations is when a currency increase in value and the depreciations is when it fall in value. Okay, look at this example. In 1996, so the value of Malaysia Ringgit is 28 cents. The value of Malaysia Ringgit in 2003 is 28 cents. Meaning that it depreciating by uh, 7%. It shows that USD depreciate by 7%, but Malaysia Ringgit appreciates by 7%. Okay, because of US is the home country, Malaysia is a foreign country. So when the value of the Malaysia Ringgit from 28% to uh, 26%, it shows that Malaysia Ringgit appreciates, but the USD is depreciate by 7%. Or if we can. Um, See the Malaysian ringgit currency per US dollar. Okay, if in 1969, so one dollar is equivalent to two ringgit 64, and in 2003, one dollar is equivalent to three ringgit 79 ringgit, meaning that USD is appreciating, the Malaysian ringgit is depreciated by 43 percent, meaning that in 1996. One dollar equivalent to two ringgit sixty four, but in two thousand thirteen, if we want to get one dollar, we have to pay for three ringgits and seventy nine cents. Okay, why are exchange rates uh, important? Because the effects of relative price of domestic and foreign goods. Okay, for example, the ringgit price of American goods. To a Malaysians is determined by the interactions of two factors the price of American goods in dollar, the Malaysian ringgit exchange rate in foreign exchange 
market. Okay. Let me see the example of it. Okay, suppose Danish is from Malaysia. Okay, decide to buy a digital camera from US. If the price of camera is hundreds uh, USD and the exchange rate is 3 ringgit 79 cent per dollar. So Danish should pay for the camera is 100 USD times 3 ringgit 79 cents is 379 ringgits for the camera but if he delayed to buy the camera for four months and the dollar appreciates to three ringgit 90 cents meaning that the malaysians ringgit is depreciating from three ringgit 79 to three ringgit 90 cents okay but the dollar is appreciates so then he should pay for the camera 390 Ringgit instead of 379 ringgits. Okay, the reason when a country's currency appreciate, let's say US is a home country, rises in value relative to another currency, which is Malaysian ringgit, the country's goods abroad become more expensive and foreign goods in that country become cheaper, holding domestic price contents in the two countries. Conversely, when the country currency depreciates, okay, its goods abroad become cheaper and foreign goods in a country become more expensive. So, this is the example, meaning that the price of the camera in Malaysia is more uh, expensive than in US. Okay, now look at the Factors that affect exchange rate in the long run. Okay, anything that increase the demand for domestically produced goods that are traded relative to foreign traded goods tend to appreciate the domestic currency because domestic goods will continue to sell well even when the value of the domestic currency is higher. Similarly, anything that increase the demand for foreign goods relative to domestic goods tend to depreciate the domestic currency because domestic goods will continue to sell well only if the value of the domestic currency is lower or in other words if a factor increase in demand for domestic goods relative to foreign goods the domestic currency will appreciate if factor decrease the relative demand for domestic goods the domestic currency will be depreciates. Okay, now look at uh, the four factor effects the exchange rates. The first one is relative price levels, trade barriers, preferences for domestic versus foreign goods, and productivity. Okay, look at the first uh, factors, relative price level. In the long run, a rise in country's price level relative to foreign price level caused to depreciate and a fall in a country's relative price level caused its currency to appreciate. When price of Malaysian goods rise, demand will fall, currency will depreciate. So this is the case of the uh, price levels. Okay, so for the factors of trade barriers, okay, Trade barriers mean in economics. So the barriers in economic is uh, such as tariff and quota. Okay, increasing uh, trade barriers cause a country's currency to appreciate in the long run. Okay, increase in trade barrier means that if the tariff increase, so the country's currency will be appreciates and vice versa. Okay. The third factor is preferences for domestic versus foreign goods. Increased demand for countries export cause its currency to appreciate in the long run. Conversely, increased demand for import cause the domestic currency to depreciate. Okay, productivity in the long run as a country become more productive relative to other country, its currency will be appreciate 
when productivity in a country rise, we rise in domestic sectors that produce traded goods rather than non-traded goods. Higher productivity will decline the domestic traded goods relative to foreign traded goods. So demand for domestic goods will increase, currency will appreciate, and vice versa. Okay, so that's all for the first parts of this topic. I will continue the second parts of this topic in other video. See you soon.